So let's talk some properties for a little bit, a reminder of uh, some earlier objectives. So out here I have my quadrilateral ABCD, and I have some potential congruent uh, partners. And if I'm trying to establish congruence, I want to take my quadrilateral and map it onto the new one. And uh, I have to have a game plan there as to maybe what things I want to think about. So let's take a look at if I wanted to map it onto uh, this particular shape. Now right away I notice that if I'm going to do that, the orientation of this shape has been reversed. You can see that I couldn't just simply rotate it onto there or translate it onto there. That uh, my A, B, C, D would go uh, in an opposite, that's clockwise, to do the same ordering in the same point-to-point, -point, it would go P, W, E, Z, in a reverse order, counterclockwise. So I know that there has to be a reflection that relates uh, my quad to that one. Now, the key to knowing about reflections is that you need a perpendicular bisector to do that. And so um, you got to figure out who maps to who. Well, uh, A is going to map to P, B would map to W, C would map to E, D would map to Z. This is also another thing that helps me to know I'm dealing with a reflection is all of those lines are parallel to each other. That is a characteristic of a... Um, of a reflection. Also another thing that I'm noticing is that they went different distances so it's not a translation. Uh, the lines are all parallel with each other. Uh, this ha the, the orientation is reversed. All characteristics of a single reflection exist here. And if I go up to my perpendicular bisector tool here and click on one of these I would receive the perpendicular bisector and now if I click on my ABCD and on this, I reflect into the perfect spot. So uh, did you see how I used my characteristics um, to be able to uh, figure out what I'm dealing with here? I was just going to change the color of this so we can see its reflection nicely. So that's how I identified that that one had to be a, a reflection is that all the lines were parallel, the properties all matched up, everything seemed to be lined up nicely, orientation reversed, uh, distances uh, were each different, so it had to be a single reflection. Good little tip there.